Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. This is our tech bit on Safari, iCloud Pages, and private surfing. All right, so we're going to take a look at the Safari app again. Down here looks like a compass on your iPad or iPhone. Tap on it, and it brings up Safari. Um, I have two pages open here. You'll, you can see I have um, this one here, which is Taste of Home, Kitchen Aid Stand Mixer Giveaway, and the BBC Travel Home page are up. We're going to take a look at this icon over here. It looks like uh, two squares on, offset from each other. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tap on that. And this is called iCloud Pages. This is a really exciting feature of iOS 8 and Apple's ecosystem. Um, if you have this turned on in your uh, settings for iCloud, you can um, connect up with other devices that you have. Um, I have... Uh, is this showing, first of all, the two windows that are open on this Mac, there would be more here, or on this, this device, which is an iPad, are showing here. Below it are the three devices that also use the same iCloud address, my iMac 27, my iPhone, and my MacBook Pro. And it's showing me the windows that are open on those. I have a lot of them open on my phone. I better go shut wow. those. <laughs> Way oh, the too phone many. Is, the phone is tricky. That would be its own tech bit. <laughs> yeah, the phone is trickier. Yep, yep. So it's really nice, though, because if you've started something and you're out and about and you're like, oh, shoot, what was that thing I was looking at that um, on my MacBook? And you can tap and bada bing, it'll take you right to that website. So it's a really great feature for that. So again, tap on iCloud Pages. It'll bring up, now you can see we have three windows here because we, we just opened that other window. And then it'll show you, and I could say, okay, where is that, um, oh, here was that doctor, or here was that, um, I can find one that I like, Bitless Bridal. I can go into that and boom, up it comes. So it's a really great way. It's for, awesome, yeah. Yeah, I just love it. It, it happens to me so many times. I, maybe I'm looking at a recipe on my iPad, and I, I forget to you know, put on my grocery list. I'm out and about with my iPhone. I can quickly find that recipe because right. it was open on my iPad. Um, the other things that you can do from within this iCloud pages is um, you can, uh, well, you can add a page. You've always got that plus sign. But I can go into private mode. Ooh, ooh sneaky. Ooh, sneaky private. And what private mode is, is it will not show up anywhere. It won't show up in iCloud pages. It won't show up in history. So if you're, um, if you're searching for a present for somebody, right. you might want to do it that oh, way. You're, yeah. <laughs> you're being very PC about your uh, private yeah. surfing. There could be other reasons, yes. but we won't go into that. <laughs> and you notice that the, the, the bar turned gray or kind of a blackish color. So we know it's that- really secret. Really top secret. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back in, I'm gonna turn private off and go back out and you're gonna see, see it's white. So yeah, I in think there, the turn private on. Searching for presents for someone is a great it usage is. for it's, it's private, private usage surfing. For private surfing, yep. So that's how you use iCloud Pages and do private web browsing on Safari. Thanks for watching the Sync Sisters Tech Bit. And please subscribe to our channel.